Hi, my name is Ene Nioka Ebiamutpo. Um, I currently teach at the Audi International School located in Houston, Texas. I have the privilege of teaching two disciplines, which are speech and debate and social studies at the middle school level. I have very much enjoyed teaching these subject matters because I do not teach them in silo. I don't teach them mutually exclusively. There is a very significant interdisciplinary approach with which I teach speech debate, speech and debate, as well as social studies. And it has everything to do with my love of literacy and my significant background as it relates to literacy, um, as well as that of um, a dyslexia specialist. I have a fundamental philosophy about the importance of a multimodal approach to teaching any subject matter, which means I always base it or framework it, uh, give a foundation with reading. But because we live in a world that has many inputs that our children are exposed to, I understand the importance of pulling in um, media, whether it has to do with learning about uh, learning about information from podcasts and TED Talks, television shows, film, in addition to that foundation around reading, I find this multi this multi uh, modal approach to be beneficial because it meets kids where they are, it pulls them in, while um, helping them to know and understand that information is conveyed credibly in various ways. I had a parent uh, who was very appreciative of the fact that I use a multimodal approach for information conveyance because she communicated that reading on grade level is a challenge for her son and that it gives him a break without denying him the necessary information that requires him to do a lot of reading. I'm very appreciative of this feedback because it tells me that this multimodal approach is working. Language is also living. And so we read because we want to imagine the way things sound, the way words sound. So if we if we read to students, even at the middle school level, and please know that sixth grade, seventh grade and eighth grade students love being read to. I constantly read to my students because they love it. Also, that scientifically based best practice of repeated reading is still something that is in vogue. And so if we're using good old fashioned reading to students, audio books, which, is, which gives them another opportunity to read something and see something and recognize something they missed before, that is extremely important and integral to the science of reading. Using multiple modalities uh, to convey learning to students, such as the audio book, is a wonderful way to buttress uh, their access to background knowledge while expanding um, their vocabulary. Um, the inputs of listening and reading and the outputs of writing and speaking are interrelated, very much like the reading rope. If we understand that this is something that is not linear, but is always interrelating in nonlinear ways, we're constantly on a cycle to building student overall capacity and mastery for literacy. My largest call to action is to ensure that we use these multimodal approaches, especially um, for the multicultural society that continues to evolve. We learn that students who are trying to become proficient at the English language, they often are watching film to understand how to construct sentences. If we bring these ideas of the ability to hear language and even have language read to them, it not only boosts their proficiency at the language, but it boosts their overall literacy at the English language. Thank you.